hi, I'm Amesy, and it has been a while. Um, life and all that jazz. Anyway, I am going to be playing the Mortuary Assistant. It had a big update back in June. <laughs> um, it's got new a new ending. It's got some new bodies, a new haunt event, um, and it's got a new feature. Which if we go here and we go to game settings, it's got Horn system aggressiveness. <laughs> and I thought it would be great to turn that bitch all the way up. I have made it into the game. I didn't realize I didn't have audio at the beginning there, and also my resolution was wrong. But anyway, let's just get to it. Oh my goodness. Because <gasps> it's October. Look at the Halloween decorations. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I just got here. <laughs> oh, I've made a mistake. I've made a real grave mistake. Why did I put the haunting up so high? Oh. Yeah, get fucked. Happy Halloween. Halloween. I haven't played in a while. And I really think that putting the haunting level up to the highest level is probably stupid. How do I do this one? Ah. Oh, I forgot the thing. Jesus. I was gone for like a second. I really should probably look at what I need to do for the ending. Apparently I need to get that. See? I didn't look this up, I wouldn't have known. Is there anything I need to go in here? Okay. And I need to go here. Okay. I got the key. And I need to go to the third drawer with that. Get that key. Okay. I am here. Shut the fuck up. Now I have to go into the hatch. Go the other way. Okay, come in here and it said to do something with the TV. Okay, and I gotta focus on the desk with the various marks. Get the hammer. I need the hammer on the middle box. <gasps> okay. Oh! <gasps> yeah. Okay. Is there another room behind there? Joker. Oof. Holy Bible. Oh, holy Bible, we know. I'm reading. Oh, Rayman. I know what you were smarter than that. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
What the fuck? It is September 3rd, 1987. Video log of any photos and audio recordings. 1967 to 1970. I've had some time to process this. stayed by her side through all of it. Years of my life just gone. I believe the seizure that started all this was a result of its arrival. I think her body couldn't handle the possession, and it caused it to shut down. After the seizure, she would lay in bed most of the day, occasionally shuffling to and rooms of the house. I would often find her facing a wall or corner in random rooms and have to walk her back to bed. One day, she stopped getting up. She would simply lay in bed, staring at the ceiling, muttering to herself in what I believe now to be a demonic tongue. I think that was when I truly lost her. But it made everything easier. After my three years around the body, I now believe I was experiencing early signs of possession myself near the end of 1965. I remember where things began to feel different. Small things, like lightheadedness, sensitivity to sound, headaches. The littlest things irritated me. I would find myself snapping back into lucidity random locations of the house, not remembering where I had been or how much time had passed. It was when the body fell apart in my hands that I realized I'd been hallucinating, that I had been missing large chunks of time. Even if a demon is not yet inside, it has a signs of the possession. The first, but least helpful sign, being the seizure. This alone wouldn't be enough evidence of possession, obviously, but it's worth noting. After this event, she would wander aimlessly, mumbling to herself. She would become irrationally angry with me at any attempts to help her. I began to notice wounds lacerations, bruises, and unexplained scarification. She stopped eating, drinking, and eventually gave up all motion. After the body became fully bedridden, the only movement left was a periodic twitching in the extremities and rapid, shallow breathing. Muttering to itself, it would 
and stare up at the ceiling without blinking. It was around that point that I observed the eyes had turned yellow, and the skin appeared to decay. All of this was noted with little concern, as I was already Fight me. Next we go to Valerie. Are you out there? Oh, oh, oh I knew you'd find me. I'm all alone and I'm scared. Please, will you help me? I'm fucking scared! Don't you hear me? Get out or he just wants to save his own fucking skin. Please, there's still time for both of us, Rebecca. Find a way to let me out. You just need to open the lock. Oh. oh, no, please let me close that. Oh, okay. Oh, I got those bolt cutters right. Wait, 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 wait. You can't open it yet. It's too dangerous. It's still here. It's still inside. You need to take this mark and burn it with the possessed body instead. Once the other demon is gone, you can let me out, and we can leave together. Please. Okay. No. Are you a clown? A clown wake up. That's why I couldn't put the methanol in there.
People make up stories. Death is a <gasps> scary thing to a lot of people. No one's involving any ghost bodies or whatever. <laughs> Oh, God fucking damn it. Jesus, fuck. Oh, I see you, you little fucker. <laughs> Stop it! God, who did it? Who was it? Is it you? No, it's gonna be a clown, isn't it? No. <laughs> I'm not turning around because it's bad behind me, isn't it? Okay, phew. I mean, that's one way to get here, I guess. <laughs> Come on, man. I have to come see this one. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, what? Oh, come on. When does this end? Come over here. Oh. Why aren't you coming? Because you're not me. I'm me. Come over here. No! Can't make me. Why aren't you coming? I don't want to. Have you seen your eyes? They say glow. Rebecca. Oh, fuck it. What do you want? Come over here. I am. <laughs> oh. Clown. Fucking <laughs> clown. Gotta be a clown. Look at that evil fucking face, dude. Oh. Do you guys like that? Because it's. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Jesus, I knew there was something on my heart, man. <laughs> God, look at that face. What's happened? Something else. Wait. Don't what? So I have to use the mark. <clears throat> that is on Valerie's, I guess, coffin. On this guy. To get the ending. Um, hang on. I'm just gonna pass him in here. I might do them all. What happened to your eyes, Grandma? Where are your eyeballs? Oh, the front door's open. Oh, there ain't no fucking way. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <sighs> oh. Here 
out of your thing. Your mouth's open now. Shit. Spoke to me and that friend. I think it was this guy. Oh shit. But he spoke to me. He showed actual signs, but he was on the thing. Shit! I don't know. Ah! I think I failed. through all the process again to get it set up. Um, you guys do not have to watch me do that. So I will be back when I am starting to embalm bodies. Okay. So I've done everything downstairs in the basement again. So we're just gonna... There's a clown again. Okay. I'll go through all this. Um, if anything exciting happens I'll show you but... It, yeah. It's probably gonna be the same stuff. I I don't have a clipboard. Okay. At least I can keep track of things. I have never heard her be so scared like that before. <laughs> oh that was daddy! Oh no, mm, no. <laughs> I'm assuming it's the clown, right? Halloween makes sense. Uh oh. What's happening? <laughs> no, Mr. Delver. God damn it! No! Ugh. What did I do wrong? It would have to be that guy, right? Oh, fuck you, Raymond. Okay, I'm back. Um, nope. Simon. And Dakota. Um, ooh, you're smiling. I need to be 100% sure. Um, where's your room again? Room again. Room. Because I really want this ending, and if I fuck it up again, I'm going to be so mad at myself. There we go. Was weird. <laughs> Are you okay? No. All right. It's not a good sign. Why did you let me die? Oh fuck off, Dad. Yeah, I know. Ah, oh, Dad, you're so needy. Oh, I'm so stupid. I read the guide, but not properly. I have to embalm all the bodies, and I have to still find all the demon marks. There's one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Oh, oh, get your ass back in. Get your ass back. <laughs> yeah. Okay, two of them have started walking. <laughs> oh. So it's gonna be this guy. But they both went walking, so <laughs> <laughs> don't show me Raymond I don't want to hear your voice did I do it? <gasps> I did it! Yeah. Oh. oh my god oh my god okay calm down everyone okay now we go and set Mallory free Take what's mine. It's time for you to burn. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, what did we do? Oh, what did we do? <laughs> Holy shit. What are you doing down here? Raymond. Too, Raymond. My life is in danger too. Yeah. I deserve to know what the hell is going there on. There are some things. There are some things that are safer if you aren't aware. Bullshit. I don't trust you. You think I don't know you'd lock me up just like Valerie if you had the chance? Oh yeah, no, he did. I'm here that one time. Because I have no choice. My life is in danger every single night with no end in sight, and you're still not telling me everything. Find out what you're fucking hiding from me. <laughs> Rebecca. Raymond. It won't last forever, Raymond. It'll last long enough. said that before. Don't you all get tired of saying the same things? <laughs> You're pretty fucking predictable at this point. No, not that predictable. After all, you're down here begging for more scraps. Awful lot of missteps lately, Raymond. Rebecca put you in an awfully tight spot. No more Valerie. No more blood. One less barrier between you and the inevitable, my love. She didn't know. It's not her fault. Mm -hmm. So many women in your wake. Poor Raymond. All alone. See you around. See you around? 
You'll always have mommy to help with the suffering. Yeah. You've said that before, too. Believe me or not, I am your help, Vulture. It's my only pleasure in this fucking place. It must be so heartbreaking having to watch her son carve away piece after piece. No way out, always screaming and begging for mercy. Every second you keep me here, I will murder her eternity of her suffering. Good. <gasps> what? Well, shit. Well, at least we got the ending finally, but I have questions. Like, is Mummy Raymond the beginner of all of this? The starter of all? That was cool. I do have questions. Uh, I'm hoping that that ending is a sign that there may be maybe the Mortuary Assistant 2 or a DLC or something that's coming. I don't know. I'll have to look into it, I think. But um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you stuck around to the very end. Uh, I hope to see you around again. Thanks. Uh, bye.